If a patient has a urinary tract infection, it's 599.0. If somebody has pneumonia, it's 486. If somebody has COPD, the code is 496. However, you can get into something like diverticulosis, and that's 562.10. Office visits, your ENM codes range from 99201 to a 99215, approximately. An injection code is 96372. Then we would add a HICPICS code of J0696. That would be for somebody who had strep throat, which would be 034.0. <laughs> okay, now what? <laughs>Hi, I'm Yolanda Welch and I am a subject matter expert in the field of medical billing and coding. The best part of being a coder, number one, is that you're not really involved in direct patient care. However, you also don't have to work specific hours. And if you always like to learn as a coder, I, there's not been a day go by that I, there hasn't been something that I have learned. My name is Jennifer. I'm an operations manager for Scott Family Health. We have an office in both Fort Collins and Lumbland. I think the best part of being a coder is just the investigation and learning everything. You get everything in the, the scope. You don't just have one thing you're focused on. You get to learn and you get to dig and you investigate. So it's like you're trying to solve a puzzle. Normally you would um, have your charts in front of you, whether they're electronically or in paper. And a coder's job is simply to read the entire chart, determine what has been done, determine what the patient has wrong with them. The coder is responsible to determine all that based upon the documentation from the physician, and then enter it into the computer system. The bill then drops to the business office, and the business office takes it from there and bills out the charges for that patient. A day in my life, um, I pull up the schedule and I go through all my patients that were in the schedule for that day before and I like to go through their notes and review their charts and make sure that all the code is, codes were added appropriately. And then once I've gone through the note, I've made sure the charges are all complete, I send it to billing and then it goes out the door and goes and gets to the insurance company and goes out and gets paid. During an average day, I interact with physicians, with um, people in different areas of the facility, in the lab, in x-ray, uh, the allergy clinic, the immunization clinic, the receptionists, the medical insurance department, and the medical records department. So in my daily life, on a regular basis, I have a billing department and a coding department that works um, specifically on doing coding. I also interact with my physicians, my providers, my acupuncturists, my massage therapists, my physical therapists, just making sure that their documentation is complete and if I have any questions I can go back and clarify. I'm in constant contact with our billing department on stuff that might be missing or doesn't mesh with what was in the chart. So I think the interactions with everybody is important. It's important to keep those relationships nice and secure because you never know when you're going to need them or you're going to need help. So coding can set you up for office billing, collections, you could work in office management, you can do lots of different things, you can grow and the more knowledge you have about coding and how bills go, come and go and how they drop and what needs to be on them and what codes need to be, the better off you're going to be and the higher you can move up in the ladder. So I think your previous background that would be great for a coder would be maybe some healthcare, but just the willingness to learn, just somebody that's open, that accepts challenges and moves forward. I don't necessarily think you have to know every single medical term that's out there, but I think you're going to have to be willing to learn them all. If you love to investigate things and love to do research, you'll make a wonderful coder. You need to pay attention to detail, but many days you're simply reading charts, you're putting down numbers, you're doing research on things that have been done or a condition a patient may have so you get the proper code. If you enjoy reading, you enjoy research, and you can really pay attention to detail, you will make an excellent coder. So I think the words of wisdom that I would give to somebody that wants to be a coder is passion. You're gonna to have to be passionate about it. 
it's something that you're going to get frustrated at, but if you persevere through it and you learn and you just stick with it, you'll always get to where you want to be. Um, attention to detail is huge. You, you have to know everything. It's always constantly changing and constantly moving, so you're just always chasing. It never feels like you're ever going to learn everything, and you never will, and that's okay. Um, so just grow with the company, just grow with the business, just grow with coding because that's important and that's how you're going to be successful at doing it.